Hey guys, welcome back. I know I'm probably looking a little hurt right now, but I'm in between tutorials. So um, I am doing a tutorial on the makeup that I will be finishing. But before that, I wanted to show you guys a full coverage foundation routine. Um, my foundation routine has changed a lot because my skin has changed a lot. Um, I have a lot of texture now that I don't have. It's not as bad because I have gotten my skincare routine down packed. I will insert a picture here of how my skin was when I did my back to school makeup. And this is the progress. It's getting much better. Skin takes a while to rejuvenate and like get back, especially when you have scarring. But just be patient if you are struggling with that. Um, I am going to show you guys my full coverage foundation routine, how I apply my foundation, the techniques that I use, so on and so forth. So let's get started. Um, so the first thing that I do for my foundation routine is that I moisturize. My rule, or the rule I've learned from Wayne Goss, the more hydrating products that you use, the more powder you can use afterwards, and it won't look cakey. So I'm going to go in with my Dr. Jart water drops. This moisturizer literally turns into water as you rub it and it just moisturizes your face so well i love it so much okay so i've been recently watching other people's full coverage uh tutorials and a lot of them cake on the product i would rather color correct and then apply my product so that i don't overdo it and my face doesn't look cakey i feel like color correcting helps not overdo the amount of makeup that you use so i'm gonna go in with my mac prep and prime and just color correct the spots that i have hyperpigmentation on I press the product into my skin so that it stays on there. So I definitely forgot to prime my face, but before you color correct, definitely prime your face. Um, use a primer that suits your skin. If you have big pores, use a pore filling uh, primer. If you have oily skin, use a mattifying primer. If you have dry skin, use an illuminating primer and so on and so forth. I am going to be using a pore filling primer in these areas and then an illuminating primer on the perimeters of my face. For my pores, I am using the NARS pore filler. And you definitely don't want to apply too much primer because it will just have the reverse effect on your makeup. The perimeters of my face, I'm going to go in with the Becca Backlight Primer. It's actually a really nice primer. So the way that I apply my foundation has changed a little bit. What I like to do is take the foundation on the back of my hand, like so and apply it to my face with my fingers so what i like to do is apply the foundation and actually work it onto my skin i don't know why but this has been working with like every foundation that i've been using so i take the foundation i work it onto my skin and then i've been going in with a brush i usually use my beauty blender i love using a sponge for my face but since i've had more acne scars i find that using a brush gives me more coverage so i've been loving this brush in particular this is one of the brushes i got on amazon i pick up this one more than i do my sigma one i just love the way this applies my foundation i don't know what kind of magic is in this but i love it and so i start just patting my foundation into my skin I don't rub my foundation, I pat it and I work it into my skin. I spend more time on my foundation now than I ever have before because I find that it really makes a difference in the way my foundation looks. Um, what I've been doing is taking my beauty sponge and then after applying it with my brush, I go over my face with my sponge to take any excess foundation that might be on my face. And it's just been working pretty good. So my sponge is damp. Alright, I don't know why I ever stopped doing this combination, but I used to mix my NARS concealer with my Urban Decay concealer. This is definitely the best combo for my skin. I love the way these two look. So this one is in shade Caramel. Oh, my foundation shade is in Tahoe, by the way. And I just apply this to the inner parts of my eyes to conceal. And it also has like a peachy undertone, so it helps conceal even more, even though I did correct. just apply that to the inner parts of my eyes 
And then I go in with um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin in Medium Dark Warm. And I apply this on top of it to highlight a little bit more. Then I go in with the Beauty Blender and I first blend out the concealer that is not underneath my eyes. Then I take the tip of the sponge and I go right underneath my under eyes. So when I hit this part of my face, I spin the brush. The, I spin the sponge and then I start patting it like this. I don't like to take my concealer all the way, you know, to the temples of my face because I do not want to widen my face. I already have a chubby face to begin with. So I just end it right here at the end of my eyes so that I can create the triangle of light and the focus can be right here instead of making my face look wider. And then as usual, I will go back with my brush and then blend out the perimeters of the face so you can't tell where the concealer starts, where it ends, it just has a nice blend and it looks like one coat of foundation. After that's all set, before my concealer starts to crease, I set it with the RCMA No Color Powder. I just open it up and dig my sponge in it and I go like this, like this, to get some powder right on it. And then I just set basically my whole face because a lot of powder gets on the sponge already. So then I take my powder brush and then I just dust it off right away. But that's pretty much it. My tips for you to avoid having cake face is to use a lightweight full coverage foundation. Definitely color correct. Use concealers that are already full coverage. Use a beauty blender to soak up any excess foundation that might just be sitting on top of your skin. And definitely work the foundation into your skin because um, I don't find that I break out just because I take care of my skin I have a skincare routine so everything is perfectly fine but as you can see everything looks flawless everything looks full coverage everything looks pretty nice in person too and especially when I come up close I don't feel like I have any dry patches on my skin and that is my full coverage foundation routine I am going to go finish the other tutorial I was doing and then come back and show you guys how everything looks when I apply my bronzer my contour my blush my highlight and all that good stuff okay guys so this is how my makeup looks with the bronzer with the blush and with the highlight I love the way that my makeup looks I feel like I can add a bunch of bronzer a bunch of powders and my face does not get um it doesn't get cakey and I know that it has a lot to do with not only the way that I've been applying my foundation but because of the fact that I've been using a lot of hydrating products before I apply my foundation. Um, I hope you guys learned something new today. I love, 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 love the new techniques that I'm using. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.